Okay, today we're going to do a tool review on an Evolution chop saw. Here's some quick specs on it. So as you can see, it's basically like your abrasive chop saw uh, that a lot of people use. Uh, you'll see they do show a lot of the steel they're cutting is hollow. Thin cross sections, not solid. Uh, looks like here's some of the specs on what you can cut. So let's open the box and take a look. Usual owner's packet. Uh, it's probably for the vise for round stock. Safety glasses and earplugs. Looks like some replacement brushes for the motor. I believe the instructions uh, said this was a cast aluminum base. It feels like it. And here's the info on the blade that it came with. Here's the cover. You take this off to get to your bolt here to swap your blade out. Uh, I looked in there. It is an Allen is an Allen bolt, kind of hard to see, but okay for assembly. Literally, the only thing I can find is the handle here that screws in here, and then this piece here, uh, when you do want to use it, is a V block. It simply slips over. Slips over the vise just like that, and you can see there for round stock or square stock. Uh, if you want to cut square stock on a diamond pattern, such as this. Something like that. There is an adjustment here. Uh, this guy contacts here when it comes down. This prevents the saw from going too far down in here. So you can adjust how far your saw goes down. I'm not going to mess with that at the moment. Uh, what do we got here? Looks like that might be a blade lock. Let me put the camera down here and check that out. Yep, there's the blade lock. So when you're
changing out your blade, you can lock it. Uh, there's a, well, let me rotate here. Safety switch. So you got to push this in. See, push it in. And that's about it. I'm guessing this saw won't do really good on solid steel if you're trying to cut, you know, three inch solid bar. It probably won't do real good due to the higher blade speed. Uh, I've seen a lot of these type of saws in the 100 to 120 RPM range with coolant. Of course, they're also anywhere from two to four thousand dollars. So I'm guessing this saw for you know 400 bucks will be a nice all-purpose saw for uh, hollow material, you know, pipe, square tubing, whatnot. But uh, let's let's make make some cuts and find out. Okay, here we go. We have some, uh, looks like well, one and a half, one and a half tubing, I was getting 180 earlier, let's see. I'm not going to worry about this fence right now. I'm just, I just want to make a cut. So it's a little slow getting through the top. Once you get through into the sides, it goes pretty quick. That's pretty loud. I know the sound uh, comes, uh, gets all distorted on the video, but that was pretty loud. I did not have my earplugs in. I'm going to go ahead and put them in now. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, there is a chip tray back here that will have to be emptied out once in a while. That was real time. The video is real time. Now this is supposed to be cold. It's very slightly warm, but as you can see, no big deal. Nice cut. Little burr, but pretty nice. Overall, I'm very happy with it. So there you go. Uh, well, you can see it makes a mess. Let me go remote here. A little bit of shaking. Sorry about that. Lots of lots of shavings. So it does make a mess. Uh, hopefully, you can see in there. Shavings over here. Otherwise, uh, well, I think that's going to be a, a nice saw. Well, that was the very first cut. Hopefully, there'll be an awful lot more. 
Uh, maybe I'll do another video later on, let you know how the blade's holding up. Uh, otherwise, so far, I'm, I'm real happy and uh, hope this was useful to you. Thanks for watching.